Hello everyone, we are the Detecting Smiths. Smiths. back out here at one of our public areas in this giant open field and uh, there's uh, Shell Bell on her bicycle Gecko's running around here somewhere in his uh, electric car looks like Shell Bell's having some difficulties alright we're gonna get at it and see what we can come up with alright we've been out here for probably about 15 minutes we dug a bunch of cans and so forth, and I just got a penny signal here, and I actually thought for some reason, like a dummy, that it was going to be a penny. But I was digging in the sidewall, and this popped out. That is the trigger guard off of a gun. Don't know what kind of gun, but that's what it is. Alright, if I find a gun in here, I'll let you guys know. What you got there, Mama? Me and Shell Bell found a dime. <laughs> I did, um, the metal detector come up like, gosh, I think it was like 84. All and it right. was showing, it was just a couple inches down, and Ray Ray's been digging, and Shell Bell's been digging, and Shell Bell got it. Ten Good job, Shell Bell. <laughs> there you go. Alright. All right. That's our first coin of the day. Mm -hmm. Cool beans. Mm -hmm. Alright. Dug up a dime signal here and found a, a ring, guys. Our, a smiley face. Oh. A gumball machine ring. Probably something that some kid won here at the fair and lost it on the way to the car. Let's see. It's all messed up right in there. That's cool. Gecko, look. What do you think? Paper, ring or what? <laughs> I don't think you can keep that on your finger anymore. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys at the next one. All right, Mama called me over and said she found a coin, which is a rare commodity around here. Yeah, it's all been. What? Oh. I wanted to see what. It looks like it's. Uh, yeah, just a look, regular look. Lincoln penny. <laughs> oh, and Gecko comes walking up. He says he's got something. What? Yeah, just the one thing you want him to find out here in the parking lot. Uh, with no gloves on. Oh, my God. Uh, so, son, hey, Gecko, Gecko, come back. Come here. No more bones, son. Do not. All right. Mama's got a penny. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Got a little bit distracted. Boys will be boys. It's just a Lincoln penny. Yeah, I just want to see if it's copper or oh, zinc. Oh, stop. I think it was like in the 82. Oh my God. It's hard to tell. I can't see it. Looks like it's a 92. So it's going to be a zinc. All right, guys. See you at the next one. All right, guys. I flipped this little plug up and I saw what looked like a coin fell back down in the hole. And it rang up like a copper penny or a dime. 81. Solid 81. And it's going to be a 1980 memorial. But, it's one more penny than I've found so far. And I, I was just telling Mama she's kicking my rear when it comes to coins. 
and she's only found two, so now she's just one ahead of me. Oh, well, let me get going. <laughs> See you guys at the next hole. Okay, guys, surprise, surprise. I got another penny signal down in this hole right here. And uh, out of this sidewall comes this. Not something I ever thought I would find in a location like this. And I nicked it right there with my shovel. Look at that. It's a skeleton key. My first ever skeleton key, guys, in the parking lot at the fairgrounds. I've got to do a little bit more research on this place. I, I thought I had done a good bit of research, and from what I can tell is up until the 19... Early 1980s, this was this was pa not pasture, but uh, this was forest, and then it was cleared off. But that is cool. How far down was it? Uh, about four inches. That that's cool beans, guys. That is really cool. All right, we'll clean it up later and see. Can't we maybe see something else on it if there is anything on it? But my first ever skeleton key. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> we haven't done any live digs today, but I'm about to do one. I don't know if you can see that. That's bouncing between 97, 98. And it's showing it's only two inches deep. That's always junk. For me. And it's rather large. Let's see if we can pop this off out of the ground. And there it is. And what is it? Well, it's just under the surface. It's heavy. What is this? Some kind of... I don't know what that is. I guess if I cleaned it up better, I'd, I could tell, but... Looks like some sort of automotive part. Or something. I know it ain't. Get that, move that, please. I know it ain't nothing super old. All right, as always, junk. All right, JJ's back on the board. Got another coin. Uh, Mama's got more money than me, but I found another coin, and it's right here. It was covered up with some. Look, uh, dead grass and stuff. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right on top of the ground, and it is a canickel, a two thousand, two thousand. Where was you at midnight, December the thirty-first, nineteen ninety-nine? I know exactly where I was and exactly what I was doing. It's when everybody thought the world was coming to an end. All oh, computers and everything was going to die. All right, guys. We'll see y'all at the next hole. All right. Shelbell called me over. She's been over here working with her mama. I've been on the phone. And I just imagine this is probably going to be our last hole of the day. So what would you call me over here for, Shelbell? Because we just found a... Uh... A penny. Boy, we have got to get you some gloves that fit, don't we? <laughs> What'd you dig it up with? This tool? I don't know what it's called. All right, White Stig Master. You like that thing? I just bought it. You probably used it more than I have. What do you think about it? Uh, 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 I think it digs good. You like it, Mama? Yeah, I do. It's easy to get to the hard ground. All right. Well, Shell. 
It's hard to push down on it. Well, I think anything's hard to push down on you, Shell Bill, because you don't weigh 20 pounds. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that coin. What'd you find? Uh, coin. A coin? A penny. It's a penny. I see the memorial on it. Let's see if we can rub a little bit of this dirt off of this penny. It's okay to rub pennies, isn't it? Yeah. See if we can see a date on it. I actually have my glasses on today. Well, you know, 1992. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay, guys, here's our wrap up from the hunt in the parking lot at the fairgrounds. We dug a lot of iron, old spark plugs. I don't know what that is. That's a car part. We, uh, we threw away a lot of the cans that we dug, but we dug a lot of these old ring pulls. Um, dug a lot of the cans with the old ring pull type spouts on them. Just a bunch of... I couldn't believe that we dug so many of these old ring type pulls out there because I've done a lot of research on that place and that place was a uh, just a forest up until the 1980s whenever they made it into the fairgrounds but mama amongst playing with the kids and trying to occupy them she dug two old pennies two copper pennies and uh, at least I think they're copper pennies and a clad dime. I was floored um, by what I found in the parking lot. This was probably one of my first signals. It rang up like a penny. And I couldn't believe that I had found the trigger guard off of a shotgun. And based off of the design, it looks like it's older. Um, it didn't have any markings or anything on it that I could find. Um, I'll come back to that other one. Just a little ring. That's typical of what I figured we would find in the parking lot. But I found two pennies and a nickel. Uh, found this real pretty piece of broken pottery, which was odd again. But this was probably my second penny signal. And I dinged it right there with my shovel or my digging tool. But uh, this is my very first ever skeleton key. I was super surprised by this. So based off of everything we found out there, I think what we did was maybe stumbled up on an old, old trash dump or something. I'm not sure, but that is definitely old. It's it's not new. But that's our finds. I don't know. I don't understand some sometimes what happens when you go relic hunting. You find a bunch of coins, then you go try to find a bunch of coins, and you find some relics. You never know what you're going to pull out of the ground in this in this hobby, guys. So. Well, we appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you are watching this and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and uh, if you like what you're watching please then uh, be sure to hit the like button guys we appreciate y'all we appreciate all your support and we appreciate you watching our videos y'all have a great day